Hello, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan, utilize, and maintain locator and locator RTX attachments for overdentures. This YouTube video is aimed at describing some of the really exciting features surrounding how to best utilize the new Zest Locator RTX retention insert tool. It's going to look a little bit different from our original locator core tool, but I'm going to describe all of the features and the benefits of what Zest Anchors has done for this new and handy tool to best service our locator RTX attachment system. This video is demonstrating a simulation as if I literally just use my chair side attachment processing material to pick up the processing mails of the locator RTX attachment system, how to service those inserts remove them, the black processing components, and replace them with my retention inserts. Of course, the Locator RTX system is really wonderful because of these little great little vials, in addition to the numerous other great features that the RTX system brings for removable overdenture situations. This little handy vial is so useful because it keeps everything all tidy all in one particular vial, including our locator RTX abutment, and everything that we would possibly need to do what we're going to be doing right now, which is servicing a freshly picked up locator RTX abutment. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, retention insert tool. This is distinctly different from that of the original legacy locator core tool. Many of the clinicians that gave feedback to Zest Anchor said, gosh, you know, this tool is really great, but it's a little bit too complex. Is there any way just to keep it simpler, uh, make it really bulletproof, tough as nails? And Zest Anchors has responded with this amazing um, retention insert tool. So simple. You can see here that it's got this nice kind of plastic housing here and only two pieces. These two pieces create for a very simple operation, as well as very important for our dental assistants out there who maintain all of our instruments, very simple to uh, maintain, clean, sterilize for each patient use. So, as mentioned here, we also have our patient. I'm going to be demonstrating removing the processing inserts. To do that, you can see I have my retention insert tool. There's going to be a little area here as part of this silver part down here at the tip of the tool. It's going to say in with the up arrow and out with the down arrow. Now the outside also has a flat portion of our tool and you'll understand in just a moment why that exists. Additionally, you'll see it's got this little metal structure here on the outside part that lets help you remove the insert after you've uh, removed it from the denture. First and foremost, we're going to assemble it properly. I know that I've just picked up my um, processing insert, so I'm going to place my out end facing up, meaning I'm going to be able to read the text that says out. Removing my patient's denture from the mouth, I can see here I have my processing inserts. I'm going to insert vertically and then twist. This is distinctly different from what you would normally do with this tool, with this kind of tricky little end piece that you have to unscrew. Zest Anchor says, nope, make it simpler, make it faster, make it much, much less complex. And what they've responded by saying, insert and twist out. By doing so, you can remove the metal part of this tool, insert into the back end of this tool, and it'll easily pop it out and then out onto the bench top. Continuing on, I can insert back the out end, placing that tip inside of the processing insert, twisting, and it easily comes out. Removing using the back end of this tool makes very short work. And simple operation. Now that I've removed that portion of our RTX uh, inserts, the processing components, I'm now going to switch over to the inside of my tool. The inside of the tool is going to be facing up. What I'm going to do is pick up the one attachment that I wish to pick up, and you'll notice that it occasionally will allow you to snap it into place, but 
A lot like the original locator tool, you just want to place it here on the tip at the end, bring the denture to the, um, the tool itself, and I'm going to insert and push until I hear that snapping sound. Continuing on, I'm going to do that with my other medium insert, bringing my denture to my insert and tool, and pushing vertically. And you'll see here it made short work of inserting these medium retention inserts. Placing back on the patient's mouth really allows you to test the stability of this prosthesis. And you'll see here that the locator RTX is really a wonderful insert and attachment system because it really gives you such phenomenal divergency correction as well as really excellent retention. So imagine the situation now. I'm placing this in the mouth. My patient demonstrates, they say, gosh, doctor, this is really on here tight. I don't know, I'm, I'm having a tough time with this. Uh, am I gonna be able to do this? And you say, you know what, no problem. I've got an answer for you. This is a little bit trickier for you, so let me dial down the strength. So it's easy, insert the out end, so that way the out end faces up. I'm going to insert directly into my medium retention insert, twist out. Same thing, I'm gonna use the back side of my tool and it pops it off back on the bench top. Placing my out end again, you'll notice that that flat portion is sticking out now. I'm going to insert that into my retention insert, twist, and easily pull out. I know it's tempting also, doctors, for you just to use your fingers to pry this off of here, but do be very careful because this end is extremely sharp. Zest Anchors recommends you use the back side of this tool so that way it easily just pops out. And what's great about that too is, is it has basically zero damage to the actual insert itself, so you could reuse it. Now, I'm going to tell my patient, let's go ahead and try our lighter insert and retention, placing it onto my tool goes into the denture and make short work of the light retention. Continuing on with our other blue insert and popping it into place. Now we're going to try it back on. Patient says, oh wow doctor, that's a lot better. I'm done. On the flip side as well, if you say, gosh, you know, that's a lot better for you to be able to take it out, but maybe it's a little bit too loose for you right now. Again, same thing here. I just take my tool, take the outside, flip it over, push, twist, insert, and remove. And same thing for the other side, twist, and remove. And in literally just a few seconds, I can take my tool, insert that back into there, and insert that back into there. And now my patient's got the original retention that they asked for, excellent stability, and is ready to be dismissed. So I can assure you, you're gonna find the new Zest Locator RTX retention insert tool to be so simple, so easy, so effective, also, very importantly, easily clean. If you're going to instruct your dental assistant, you can easily just take a syringe and inject through here. You have these portholes right in here that allow material to flush out to keep everything extremely hygienic, including on, including on the backside. Alternatively, you can always put this through an ultrasonic cleaner, and it goes into just one of our sterile um, uh, pouches and goes directly into the autoclave or the statum unit. So this has been another uh, training video on the Learn Locator channel, uh, a free resource on how to treatment plan, utilize, and maintain locator and locator RTX attachments for overdenture. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for additional videos.